Greetings and welcome to the 2021 Livingston County 4-H Achievement Night Program. My name is Sarah Attic, and I'm the 4-H Youth Development Program Coordinator. We're excited to celebrate the achievements of all our members this year, so let's get started. Clover Buds are five to seven year olds who are not yet old enough to be official 4-H members, but participate in special Clover Bud clubs and work on projects together instead of individual projects on their own. This year's Clover Bud Awards are presented to the following members. Roy Alvey, Benjamin Austin, Charlotte Austin, Mariah Benke, Owen Blackmore, Jackson Bunting, Dylan Delheimer, William Diaz, Emmett Haig, Emerson Jones, Harper Jones, Miranda Keisner, Ava Carr, Sawyer Kerber, Kelsey Kilgus, Leah Mackinson, Jasmine Marson, Margaret Martin, Josephine Miner, Annalee Mounts, Carter Mounts, Justin Olschlager, Kenneth Outhouse, Colton Quick, Jackson Roper, Elaine Schmidgall, Stella Shields, Daniel Smith, Elizabeth Smith, Bailey Vanderveen, Reese Vanderveen, Remington Wilcox, and Easton Williams. Congratulations to all of our Clover Bud members. The first year outstanding is awarded to new members who have completed a number of benchmarks and discovered the true meaning of involvement, teamwork, and enthusiasm for learning new things. The following members receive the first year outstanding award. Landon Lyons, Isabella Meyer, Morgan Ruff, Lainey Saylor, and Derek Smith. The Experience Awards were instituted by the State 4-H Office and the Bronze, Silver, and Gold Clovers are selected at the county level. This year's Bronze Clover Experience Award winners are Jordan Crutcher, Tristan Crutcher, Olivia Fye, Sydney Gregert, Charlie Jones, Ben Joseph IV, Connor Mackinson, Isabella Meyer, Haven Miller, Aiden Palmer, Autumn Ruff, Brianna Shum, and Ethan Shum. Our Silver Clover Award winners are Abigail Armstrong, Bryna Butke, Kaylee Delheimer, Hayden Francis, Harper Francis, Logan Mackinson, Alex Meyer, Adam Miller, Amelia Miller, William Miller, Elsie Mounts, Evan Mounts, Maylee Palmer, Todd Palmer, Lainey Saylor, Autumn Schliff, and Derek Smith. And finally, our Gold Clover Experience Award winners, Camry Witzig, Kaya Witzig, and Zane Witzig. We have three members who, whose applications are being evaluated at the state level for the Emerald Award. These members are Christopher Corrigan from the Greymont Achievers, Libby Larkin from Pontiac Power Rockets, and Vivian Pratt from Greymont Achievers. Good luck to you all and congratulations. County project medals are awarded in various 4-H curriculum areas on the basis of outstanding effort toward accomplishing the objectives of the individual award programs. Members can receive a medal for an award area only once. After receiving a medal, members may receive a blue award certificate each year they continue to show outstanding effort in that program area. First up in achievement for personal development, the blue award, Christopher Corrigan. And in community service, the blue award, Christopher Corrigan, congratulations. In animal science, the, the medal winners are Abigail Armstrong, Sophia Billerbeck, Harper Francis, Charlie Jones, Ben Joseph IV, Haven Miller, Aiden Palmer, Autumn Schliff, Brianna Shum, and our Blue Award winners are Hayden Francis, Carla Kilgus, Camber Kilgus, Adam Miller, Will Miller, Addison Eggenberger, and Emma Eggenberger. In the area of career and leadership, the Blue Award goes to Christopher Corrigan. In civic engagement, the Medal Award, Jordan Crutcher, and the Blue Award, Christopher Corrigan, Vivian Pratt. Creative Arts, our Medal Award, goes to Kara Fair and Lainey Saylor. And the Blue Award, Jordan Crutcher, 
Tristan Crutcher, Edinburgh, Christopher Corrigan. In environmental sciences are medal award winners, Luke Ift and May Lee Palmer. The blue award goes to Autumn Ruff. In food systems, our medal award winner is Autumn Ruff. Healthy Living brings our medal award winner, Brianna Shum, and blue award, Christopher Corrigan. And in STEM, the medal award goes to Logan Mackinson and Libby Larkin, and the blue award goes to Christopher Corrigan. Congratulations to you all. Every year, 4-H members are encouraged to record their hard work. Records provide great organizational skills and offer a way to look back at all that members have accomplished. These records are especially helpful when building a resume and applying for college scholarships. This year, we are recognizing those members who've completed the required record book items. We will announce record book award based on age category. Our eight-year-olds, Molly Brown, Isabella Meyer, Lainey Saylor, Derek Smith. Nine-year-olds, Patrick Diaz, Violet Kerber, Connor Mackinson, Henry Schmidgall, Landon Lyons, Elsie Mounts, Aubrey Ringer, Morgan Ruff, Brianna Shum. Ten-year-olds, Abigail Armstrong, Blake Brown, Harper Francis, Charlie Jones, Coulter Kerber. Colin Kilgus, Ivan Morris, Haven Miller, Carolyn Schmidgall, and Camry Witzig. Our 11-year-olds, Ben Joseph IV, Logan Mackinson, Will Miller, Evan Mounts. 12-year-olds, Hayden Francis and Haley Ruff. 13-year-olds, Blake Berry, Olivia Fye, Camber Kilgus, Cora Morris, Todd Palmer, Zane Witzig. 14-year-olds, Maylee Palmer. 15-year-olds, Sydney Gregert, Luke Ift, Carla Kilgus, Libby Larkin, Alexandra Meyer. Adam Miller, Sarah Rex, Autumn Ruff, and Ethan Shum. 16-year-olds, Bryna Butke, Christopher Corrigan, Tristan Crutcher, Kara Fair, Autumn Schliff, and Kaya Witzig. 17-year-olds, Amelia Miller, Aiden Palmer, Vivian Pratt. And our 18-year-olds, Jordan Crutcher. Congratulations. The Holstein Association sponsors a special award for 4-H members. This organization provides certificates for their participation in the 4-H program. Members must be enrolled in the Dairy Project and exhibit Holstein dairy animals at the County 4-H show. Winners of the 2021 Illinois Holstein Association Award are Connor Mackinson from the Pontiac Country Clovers, Logan Mackinson, Pontiac Country Clovers, and Vivian Pratt from the Greymont Achievers. Congratulations. This year's Electricity Award goes to Todd Palmer from the Waldo Pepe 4-H Club. Todd showed his electricity project at the Livingston County 4-H show, was selected as champion, and went on to exhibit his project at the Illinois State Fair. Through 4-H, youth have the opportunity to learn leadership skills in a variety of ways. One of those is through serving as a club officer, and we're excited to announce the Officer of the Year Awards. First up is Secretary Kaya Witzig from Waldo Pepe. Treasurer of the Year, Libby Larkin from 4-H Federation. Reporter of the Year, Christopher Corgan, Graymont Achievers. And Officer Awards, Historian Vivian Pratt, also from Graymont Achievers. Congratulations to you all. This was our second annual Scarecrow Contest that was held during National 4-H Week. All of the participating clubs did an outstanding job promoting their 4-H clubs in their communities. This year's winners are first place Cornell Classic Clovers, 
and second place goes to 4-H Federation. Congratulations. The American Youth Foundation's National Leadership Award is given in recognition of personal integrity, balanced living, and potential for leadership. The award was first offered in 1941 by the late William H. Danforth, founder of the Ralston Purina Company in St. Louis, who challenged young people to achieve their highest potential and influence others through lives of service. The I Dare You Award is inspired by the book I Dare You, written by Danforth, in which he commends the balanced life of mental, physical, social, and spiritual development as the backbone of leadership. Livingston County is proud to have two winners of the I Dare You Award this year. These two winners are both active participants not only in their clubs, but also in their communities and churches. We are proud to award the I Dare You Award to Christopher Corrigan from the Graymont Achievers, and Samantha Johns from the Pontiac Powell Rockets. Congratulations to you both, and we can't wait to see all of the wonderful things you will continue to accomplish in the future. We'd like to take a few minutes to recognize our 4-H senior class of 2021, and we are gifting them with cords to wear for the graduation ceremonies or their senior photos. We are proud of their accomplishments and wish them all the best as they take on the world. Our 2022 4-H graduates are Bryna Butke, Grace Brown, Briar Bolin, Benjamin Dumas, Logan Elder, Kara Fair, Brooke Fox, Samantha Johns, Mara Knobloch, Ivan Miller, Ashley Rambeck, Paris Rogers, Gabe Siebert, Autumn Schliff, Anna Stevenson, Carson Stipp, William Weber, Kaya Witzig, and Wyatt Zier. Congratulations to you all. This year's Livingston County 4-H Scholarship is awarded to Ainsley Craterville. Ainsley was a member of Fairbury Prairie Farmers, graduated from Prairie Central High School, and is attending Purdue University. Our second Livingston County 4-H Scholarship Award winner is Ashlyn Craterville. She was a member of the Fairbury Prairie Farmers, graduated from Prairie Central High School, and is attending Illinois State University. Congratulations to you both. This year, our 2021 4-H Hall of Fame award winner from Livingston County is Roberta Mobaugh. Roberta was a devoted 4-H alum of Livingston County. She was a member of Manville, Manville Succeeders 4-H Club in her youth, and she couldn't recall ever missing a 4-H event or fair as a child or young adult. She continued her involvement as a volunteer for the past 20 years. In 2002, she began as a club leader when her son Tyler joined the Cornell Classic Clovers 4-H Club. Roberta continued as a leader with the club and especially enjoyed her Cloverbud group. She embodies what 4-H is all about and worked hard to create special experiences for her 4-H and Cloverbud members, such as putting together unique workshops and developing fun year-long themes for learning. After 35 years in the classroom, Roberta retired from teaching, but still used her talents to impact area youth. She reflected on the value of the 4-H experience for individual members as well as their communities. Roberta explained, I became a volunteer for 4-H because as a retired teacher, I realized how important it is for youth to be actively involved in hands-on activities and community service. 4-H builds leadership skills and gives our young people an outlet to give back to their community. 4-H was ahead of its time in the fact that it realized the importance of experiential learning experiences decades before the, before the implementation of STEM and STEAM. Roberta continued to leave her mark on the 4-H program through her work as club leader, superintendent, and through service on several communities over, committees over the years. 4-H means many things, but the greatest to me is family, she said. Not just your immediate family, but the community that becomes your family. 
It is helping each other with projects and learning experiences. It is spending weeks together at 4-H camps and family camps. It is the caring of all things that your club members and county members see as significant. Roberta passed away earlier this fall, and we are saddened by this incredible loss to the entire community. She touched many lives through her dedication, creativity, and incredible passion toward making a positive impacts in the lives of children. Livingston County 4-H is blessed to have had Roberta Moba as a leader and friend. This year's Club Community Service Award goes to the Waldo Pepe 4-H Club, who've done an outstanding job in their communi community service activities. The club is led by Amy Schliff and Ray Jane Kuntz. Thank you for providing these wonderful community service opportunities to members and impacting the community in such a powerful way. And I'm pleased to announce the 2021 Livingston County 4-H Club of the Year. The club of the year this year also is Waldo Pepe 4-H Club. Congratulations to this outstanding club. I now want to say a few words about our leaders and volunteers. We are so thrilled to have each and every one of these men and women working so hard and being devoted to the 4-H program here in Livingston County. Without all of them, this program would not exist. So let's congratulate the following volunteers. Wade Ahrens, Jolene Bolin, Christine Brown, Jason Bunting, Tasha Bunting, Angela Campbell, Karen Clark, Ann Corrigan, Mark Corrigan, Beverly Crutcher, Laura Kuch Kukra, David Dunham, Marge Dunham, Jesse Faber, Christine Haig, Angie Haig Eggenberger, Cheryl Hansen, Susie Hart, Cheryl Hillary, Tammy Johns, Laura Kerber, Trisha Kilburn Zier, Jenna Kilgus, Angie Craterville, Bill Craterville, Ray Jean Kuntz, Jenny Larkin, Mary Ludwig, Roberta Mobaugh, Gerald Meyer, Karen Meyer, Jacqueline Mounts, Linda Over, Gail Rapp, Terry Riccolo, Corey Robinson, Amy Schliff, Teresa Shop, Amanda Shum, Clara Lee Schwartz, John Schwartz, Dustin Smith, Diane Stottle, Christine Stark, Amanda Stipp, Renee Tucker, Mary Vaughn, Dan Weber, Heather Weber, Lucia Weekman, and Nancy Woodburn. Thank each of you for all of your help and support this past year. And finally, thank you all for a fantastic 4-H year. We see all of your hard work and dedication and learning that has taken place this year, and we're so excited to see what 2022 will bring us. Thank you, and have a good evening.